You're the head coach of the Cavaliers, Kristen Kinsman. Coach, need to win in a worse way tonight at West Virginia Wesleyan. And uh, seniors come up big, especially Taylor Sandage in tonight's 88-68 win over the Bobcats at West Virginia Wesleyan. Yeah, we kept it pretty close in that second quarter. So Taylor definitely came in, and um, in the in three quarters she played really hard. I mean, to come up with 27 points, six rebounds, five assists, and only one turnover. I was really proud of her. I think momentum uh, in any game's key, and Taylor really started both halves well. She scored 11 points in the first quarter, 12 in the third quarter. Talk about how important it was uh, to get off to those good starts, especially on the offensive end. I think it's always important, you know, in the start of the first and the start of the second half, um, you know, taking it to them. I think that the girls did a good job overall of doing that. Um, I, you know, I wasn't happy with our second quarter, but um, definitely at the, at the start of the first and the start of the third. Did a good job uh, distributing the basketball tonight, 20 assists, um, and Kayla Carey with five assists, Sandage had a lot of assists. Talk about the unselfishness of your team tonight and finding the open player. That's something that we talk about. I was very happy at the end of the game that we had 20 assists. I mean, when you do that, it's hard to beat. You know, it's hard to beat teams that are able to give the ball and find the open hand and look inside. So just overall, I think I'm proud of that. I think Kerry uh, played better tonight. She finished a rebound shy of a double-double. Uh, talk about her play tonight and uh, how she's improved here. Uh, this game uh, coming off, you know, kind of two subpar outings for her. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to be perfect. Um, I think she had a couple of tough games, and that happens, and she was able to get her mind right and get right back into it. Um, I think today she was really physical. I mean, she grabbed some key boards and some tough boards in there. So um, she just needs to keep that up. I mean, she's capable of 10 rebounds a game. Allie Moore comes off the bench, and she scores nine points to lead. Uh, I think you end up with 30 bench points tonight. Your depth uh, played a big part in this win. Yes, I think that's something we talk about, you know, since day one, that we have depth this year, and it, it can definitely help us out. Um, and so we need to keep it where it's helping us out, where no matter if we sub in or out, that we stay consistent. Long way to go in this season, Coach, and you got a lot of goals still in front of you. 16 wins, uh, it ensures the fact you'll have a winning record this year. And that's the first winning record for women's basketball program here since we made the move. Uh, you'd have to go all the way back to the D2 NAIA days, so it's been a while. Talk about that and what that means to the program and as we continue to trend in the right direction. Well, I mean, every year we've we've wanted to improve and every year we've wanted to get better. Um, like you said initially, we have a lot of basketball left to play. I'm, I'm not satisfied yet. You know, I want to continue for us to be better. Um, we've got a lot of ball games going into the tournament, so like I tell the girls, we just got to take it one game at a time. Coach, uh, final question, we'll let you go. Playing Glenville State on Saturday, a team that scores almost 100 points a game, how much would help you think playing this game on Wednesday as opposed to the normal Thursday to get a little extra rest there for a, for a team that's going to press 40 minutes? You know, it's just, I mean, if they were playing Wednesday or Thursday, we would be playing the same. So um, it might be nicer. You know, we might have a little bit more rest under our, on, under our belts and we might have you know, some time to get a nice bath in and those kinds of things. So hopefully it helps. Um, you know, we hope to have a big crowd. We really hope we can get a lot of fans out there on Saturday. Cavs win it by 20 on the road. Glenville State comes to the Pryor Center Saturday for a 2 p.m. tip-off. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you.